As the teams line up for stage six, they're just being informed of a big obstacle in today's race that could change the championship standings completely. Halfway across, today's stage is a ferry that crosses every hour on the hour, which means any team that missed the ferry, well, they'll immediately fall behind by at least an hour. So welcome to the third and final episode of the Quad Tandem World Championships, presented by Worth Hats. Nice to have everybody together. I'm excited. If we can push ahead, we will, always. Race to the ferry. Well, we're going really gently for the ferry. It's Are too you? far to make it in an hour. Okay. So we're going to make it in two hours, which means we're going to have to, we're going to, we can chill. We're going to take your time. Yeah, because there's no point in racing it. Now, Team New Zealand was short a rider yesterday. They have a pleasant surprise this morning. You're back. Back on it. Gonna give it a rip. See how we go. Yeah, just the highway was was too intense, and I, uh, you know, still trying to pick up confidence with after the crash. So a lot of it was just trying to get confident with speed. Oh my god, I've got five bikes. Oh, this is gonna be a good start. Big downhill start, high speed right away, and it is a race to the ferry. If you don't make it to the ferry on time, you're stuck waiting on the other side. So I think a lot of teams gonna wanna make sure they make it. If you do make the ferry, you're gonna have a huge advantage over the other teams that have to wait an hour. Let's go, let's Sam? Yo. Two, three, one, go. 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 Up, 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 Jeff. Power on. And with that, the teams are not holding back. But almost right away, our leaders have a problem. Oh, oh, Team Great Britain's breaking. They are down in fourth. Team Great Britain are the reigning champions. And back on day one of this championship, they broke an integral part of their bike, which means for the last week, they've been riding on the spare bike. Now, they're currently back up on the bike and it seems to be working. But if they have a bigger problem or have to pedal gently, they might not make the ferry in time, putting their current championship hopes on the line. Up ahead, USA. Come on! USA. Team USA is taking advantage of Great Britain being behind in the hopes of winning their first stage. They've been second every single day and they want to win. Although, the women have been getting faster and faster all week as their confidence builds on the bike and they're much faster than Team USA on the uphills. Now the riders might be feeling good to make it to the ferry first, but as we've seen throughout this race so far, some of these components are not able to withstand a team of four pushing hard. Teams have snapped chains. We got too excited. We got too excited. <laughs> Broken forks. So the front fork pretty much has just folded in half. Popped spokes. Uh, we broke a spoke. Stripped hubs. This is classic quad tandem. Snapping your free hub pulls. And even bent gears. So we can't go into the lowest gear, which is why the chain just broke, because we pushed it too hard and it just snapped apart. To ensure they make it to the ferry before it leaves, teams are going to have to be smooth and gentle on the bike. Going too hard or too fast could cause them to fall seriously behind. And while I've been reminding you about how hard this sport is on the bikes, Team Great Britain has already caught up to Team USA and passed them to take first place again. What's the strategy for today, guys? Uh, the strategy is we're getting on the same ferry. Yeah, same ferry, We'd same like to keep time, them in like our sights, because that's just nice to see another team good to see there. another team out there. We are ready. We feel good. Team USA, Team Great Britain are battling it out for first, but not that hard because realistically both of them know this is not where the fight is. They're both likely going to make this ferry. The real battle is a little further back and finding out who's going to miss the first ferry and be on the second. These two will be fighting on the other side for the finish.
cameras are on. Downy love. <laughs> <laughs> Angus. What a character. So we have just stopped at the halfway point. We're halfway between where we started and the ferry. There's 22 kilometers left and one hour has passed. It's 9 a.m., which means 10 a.m. is the next ferry. So I put in biking on Google Maps here yeah. from where we are. 14 minutes for a car, but one hour, three minutes Ooh. for a bike. And they have, and they have 58 minutes to make it. So they, don't, they get an hour. So, so they got to push They got to push. Hard. GB will make it. Yeah. Americans, maybe. The rest, I don't think down. so. Yeah, so we're almost on the, the downhill. So they finish this and then it's down though. So they could get moving. They were moving they at 50, get moving. 52 but then, the, but then that's scary. That's yeah. You gotta have confidence and I don't know how much of the teams have confidence. That's fair. This. Oh, we're... this is Team this USA. Is... This... What a game changer. This is wild. It's Holy good. cow, it's close. You're 22K from the ferry. If you keep going hard, you can make the tunnel. That's what I'm saying. So it's up to you guys. I know that. Yeah, let's try it. I think, I think we do it. Worst case, we hang out at the ferry. Yeah. Go, paddle, paddle, paddle. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Everyone feels good about pushing today. Well, let's jump ahead to the ferry and find out who makes it. Even Captain Sam is feeling comfortable at speed again. It might come as no surprise that Team Great Britain rolls into the ferry terminal first. Uh, first to arrive. You've Easy. made it for the 10 o'clock. It was very yeah. fun <laughs> going past the Americans. And then they were like, you <laughs> are. <laughs> and they're like, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. And we were just like, da, da, da. And, and they're like, ooh. No, we, were we're like, we tried past <laughs> And not too far behind is Team USA, hungry to beat Great Britain today and take their first stage win. And feeling more confident at speed and making it on time is Team Canada yes, win. 65 kilometers an hour? I I was just sitting in the back of the We were all aerobo, just watching the speed go up. Oh, don't let her break, don't let her break. You made it. We did. We crushed it. We knew you would. That was more fun racing the ferry um, than it was racing the other bikes. Right. <laughs> I don't know why. That was like perfect road to just like go as hard as you can on because it's just like net down. Yeah, that was sweet. Meanwhile, the ferry is rolling into view. All right, 10 minutes left. We'll see who else makes it. Oh, oh, oh. I honestly can't believe Team Canada is making it on time. I didn't think we would make it, but uh, those last couple K were really cruisy, so we just pedaled the metal. We wanted to make this one. So that means there's only one team that's not here, Team New Zealand. Will they make it in the next eight minutes? Give the boys, give the boys a target for rest. Yeah. You know rest is coming. They'll start, start moving. Wait, we got 45 minutes? Why'd you say so? They'll start, start moving faster. And what do you know? Everyone has made it on time. Let's go, boys! Five minutes to the ferry and the last team rolls in! <laughs> Looks like that downhill really saved them all. So I guess now that every team's made it onto the ferry, all right, uh, we just got ourselves another clean race to the finish on the other side. The teams all get a 45 minute break to rest and relax and actually enjoy the beauty of British Columbia for once. I love the ferry. Yeah. This is, this is the type of biking I like. Yeah, bikes, I we don't have to do anything. We I just stand here. The pedaling's in my mind. I don't know where we're going. I don't even care. Just like, look at this. I know. It's amazing. <laughs> but once the ferry arrives, the race is back on. So all of the cars are gonna be let off the ferry first then the bikes and as you can see there's a huge hill right after the ferry <laughs> have a good race everybody all right folks the race is back on as usual team great britain is off to a quick start 
So we're starting now. Where are we starting? The cocktail stops. You can't stop it. With New Zealand, USA, and the Canadian women neck and neck up the hill behind them. Tortoise in the hair. Tortoise in the hair. That's all we gotta do. Got this. Woo! Let's go. Go go go! Woo! These bikes really do get a lot of attention, but Captain Angus is focused on the task at hand. Team Great Britain has been a well-oiled machine, winning every stage so far, and it seems like their relationships are still intact as well. But today is not just another riding day. It is the stage with the greatest elevation gain, meaning big, long hills, which is tough on these bikes. So because we got off the ferry, there are no other cars coming behind you until the next ferry in about 45 minutes. So use this time, use it wisely, enjoy the road, you can see the ladies ahead. Yeah. You're gonna get them on the downhills. Could this be an opportunity for the women to beat Team USA in a stage for the first time? Currently, Team Canada women are faster uphill than Team USA, so today might just be their best chance of coming in second. You are looking very smooth, very efficient. I like it. You're crushing them on the hills. They're gonna try and roll over top of you on the downhill. So keep power on. Okay, no. Kick them down, baby, let's go. <laughs> of course, maybe today is not the day for Team Canada women either. Can't get into our large chain ring, so we're gonna do a quick on the fly adjustment. Fair enough. It wasn't working on the fly actually, so now we have stopped. Yeah. USA, baby, yeah. come on! USA. While Team USA and Canada women fight for silver, Team New Zealand and Canada men are both at the back with problems. First hill off the ferry. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, mechanical or just? Uh, mechanical for the other boys. Okay, it was. And we don't want to leave them too far behind, right. but there's nothing in the rule book we saw that says we can't get a little ahead. Right. Yeah. And if we did that one on the bike, we'd probably go backwards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, our boys snapped the chain back there. Oh, snap no, think, it. Yeah, was that Mechanic Andrew going Was that? Andrew hitting back that yeah. way? Yeah. Oh. The good news is, once the chain works, they'll be here in about 30 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Can't trip into the big rig. I rotated the barrel adjusters, no dice. And now I'm taking my multi tool to the derailleur. But I don't know what I'm going for. They ain't catching us up this hill, that's one thing for sure. The nice thing is, because we just got off the ferry, we have one hour where no cars will be coming behind us. So, enjoy it. This has got to be a spot where it will help rebuild a little bit of Sam's confidence. Time for wheelie! <laughs> Don't get far before there's trouble. What's going on, Mr. Dickey? It's a little uh, front tire issue. So we lightened up the load to see if it was a flat. It's good? Yeah. Oh, good. Make us proud. Big hill! Yeah, you can take a break if you need to. No, no break! Oh. Oh. It's good, it's good. Meanwhile, Team Great Britain is easily out front. Angus and the team are flying down this highway. With confidence that there is no one else on this road until the next ferry comes in, they are making great time off the shoulder. We're up front with Team Great Britain and they're just so fun to watch on the downhills. Smooth and leaning into the corners. Oh, this is good. You're gonna need to pass the car. We nearly got you on the downhills. I know. Oh, no. It's right, quite, it's quite right. nervy because this does not stop as quick as that. No, no, no. We... <laughs> what's, your, what's your max speed in that? Speed limit, yeah. every time. Uh... <laughs> Mom, we're being safe, I promise. In fact, it seems like everyone is up and running again. And this is not as much an exciting stage as much as it is a grueling one. What's the update? Oh, the butts. Butts hurt? Butts oh. hurt. Got a lot of steep hills on, or not steep hills, the long ones on yeah. this route. Yeah. After the ferry, so we're just Head down, keep it going. Yeah. Pinky toes are Trying to catch these ladies. What's the goal for the day? Catch Get the to camp. <laughs> They're, doing well. They're not far. They're not. Oh. They have no big chain ring, apparently. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's the butt, man. Yeah. The butt is the worst. 
Not a lot of conversation out of Team Canada. Focused and working hard. Right, we're fucking special. We got six ten out here. So we're driving ahead to find Team Great Britain. We've been driving ahead for 20 minutes. Now we haven't seen them yet. And we're now entering the cusp, which is where the finish line is. So I think they have just absolutely crushed today. And they might already be done. Maybe they're still racing up this road. My gosh, they are just so fast and smooth. There they are. So efficient. Oh, here they are. We, we were worried we wouldn't catch you in time to see you cross the finish line. Fair enough. Well, we'll go ahead to make sure you have someone at the finish line. So let's 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 pull ahead. Let's pull ahead. Yes. You can stop here. Stop here. Stop here. This We're not going that way. We're gonna go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, that's the finish line. Congratulations. Woo! So how does it feel going 85 kilometers um, an hour when you can't you see? That's okay. Yeah. I just like sit behind Angus. Like, uh, oh, I prefer not being able to see when we're going yeah, yeah, at that speed. <laughs> Max speed 84. Yeah. Wow. Sweat loss, five liters. <laughs> five nice. liters of sweat loss. Apparently, yeah. Yeah, 2,500 calories burned. Today's ride seemed like it was just uphill after uphill in the hot sun and with a little more uphill at the end too. Everyone's out to cheer them on for the finish every day. And while second place could have gone to either Team Canada Women or Team USA, it's Team USA across the line next. Get off the bike, I got the bike. Way to finish, fellas. That's enough of that. That's enough of that. <laughs> we almost, we almost quit. <laughs> we almost camped on one of the hairpins down there. <laughs> well, I was not far behind. You see, you right see there. Canadian. Yeah. Woo! Sorry. <laughs> what everyone says. Uh, nice work, Cap. Nice job, everybody. <laughs> I was going to butt your head. How you do? Oh, that was a beauty. How's that? Yeah, that was good. That was quite the climb at the end there. How long you been here for? Go catch these lads. Yep. There they are. There they are. Oh, great mesh. Great little mesh in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little hustle of the hill, man. Why didn't I get Woo. it? It was cool. We're done now. Glad it's done. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone said it was the hardest day. And it wasn't fun. And I think it's clear just how tough today was for every team. When you're just leaning up against a pile of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to head and uh, go edit some of these videos. Get them up on Instagram and social media. See if we can't get some donations. After a well-earned sleep, riders don't know yet that today will be just as hard as yesterday. I woke up pretty tired. Man, I was being funky yesterday. I woke up, it was hard to see a bit. Good thing you're not the pilot. Good thing I'm not the pilot. <laughs> you just close just your close eyes, eyes and you and, pedal. And, and just move my legs, preferably hard. Yeah. <laughs> this quiet morning feels like the calm before the storm. How are we feeling about second last day? Uh, feeling good. Feeling like tomorrow's the last day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really good about that. Uh, how's the body feeling? It's feeling good. It's a little, a little achy. Sore. A little achy. Yeah. yeah. It's wonderful, to be honest. <laughs> oh, good. Until I get on the bike, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Today will be less steep and less miles than yesterday. It'll so be, it should be so better. It should be better. And apparently there's a 30 kilometer downhill. What? It's like 20 still, miles. Still, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, that's, great. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty great. Our start this morning is the peaceful town of Nakusp. What a beautiful spot on the lake. 
and it's the oldest hotel in British Columbia, the Leyland on the Lake. Okay. <laughs> As we're approaching the end of the championships, teams have different goals for the rest of it. It's the Team Canada goal for today. Uh, crush the American. I mean, no, win. Do our uh, best. No, we're we're gonna we're gonna do our best, and hopefully there are a big chain. The goal. Um, try not to hurt our butts. Um, that's the goal really since a few days ago. We're gonna go out there and go as fast as we can without breaking this bike and hurt our butts the least. We've lost the boys, so me and Danny are gonna smash it. Oh, yeah. So I'm in the yellow jersey we today on the road, so let's because we're winning. That's right. I was given a, a men's large, which was, it had room for growth. <laughs> But this one's slightly better. It's good. I look good. I look like a winner. Yeah. What's the Team Canada goals for today? <sighs> Survive. We're barely hanging on. <laughs> and you can't start an important race like this without a local celebrity. Yeah. The mayor. <laughs> oh, the mayor. It's, it's not easy just to shut a street down. Yeah. It was easy to shut just the one lane down. So it, for a very important cause, mental health is very, very important. So we really, really appreciate what you're doing. And we're so happy to have a mayor who will go out and be the flag man uh, for the race, right? <laughs> no sitting in the office for this guy. Uh, yeah, well, I made sure I put a hat on. I really appreciate it. And so with the mayor's blessing and blocking traffic, today's stage is underway. is starting. Okay, Team Canada men's and women's spread out across Team Great Britain passing Team USA. After yesterday, this steep hill is a tough way to start, but it keeps all the teams close together. This is a bit of a killer hill to start on. You looking good, Sam. I can't see you at all, Tom, but I assume you look good too. Until a hub breaks. Oh, Team Canada men already dropped back. As usual, here come the Brits. I think they started last. They've pushed through the entire field. Coming up on Team New Zealand to take back first, and it's only been a kilometer or two. New Zealand is looking good. Team Canada women's not far behind either. So the, where is Team USA? There they are, way back. And the hill is leveling off, which means it's about to get faster. For here on out, for the rest of the day, it is stay on this road, Highway 6. It's gonna take them all the way to Slow Can. Today's stage is about 74 kilometers. It's gonna be hot. I think the hottest day we've had yet, uh, and about the same elevation as yesterday. And you saw how hard it was on it. So we'll see if they can do two of those days in a row. Or, who's gonna crack? Team New Zealand don't wanna be in last place anymore, and today's their day to try and beat Team Canada. Meanwhile, up ahead, Team Canada women want to pass Team USA and come second today. Team USA thinks they can pass Team Great Britain and win the stage. Good morning, Danny Life fans. Good morning. <laughs> but I think for that to happen, something would need to go wrong with the bike of Team Great Britain. The uh, derailleur must have got knocked a little bit in the van. Oh. It's okay. We're just trying to get into the big race. Just sort it out. Just shut it out. Don't worry about it. <laughs> As he does. Oh, <laughs> we can see this would make really good content. Yeah, so. well, especially the yellow jersey being yeah. passed on the side of the road. You're right. I know. Should I cry? <laughs> no. With Team Great Britain on the side of the road, it's Team Canada women who take the lead of the race with Team USA hot on their tail. I'm telling you there's a chance, fellas. There's a chance. All right, shall we? No panic at all. We don't panic. Professionals. Right. Good. Three, two, one. We've got ourselves a real race for the lead now. This is the tightest racing we've seen yet. The women are feeling more confident than ever, cool and calculated. The top three teams are neck and neck. Team USA is pushing hard as they want to win a stage. But 
Are the smooth Brits just too fast? Looked like Team Great Britain was just going to draft and sit behind and play defensive, but once Team USA passed them, they decided to just, we'll pass you right back and we are going to crush you. Look at this. Meanwhile, while those three are racing, we've been waiting a while to see Team New Zealand and Team Canada men's, and they haven't come by. They may be having problems already. All right, let's go back. Let's go find them. Oh no. Who's broken down? Oh. Team New Zealand. They're not broken down. They're just waiting for their team. So, Team New Zealand, because they're supposed to be a quad bike all together, even though they're on two tandems, they have to ride together. And one bike seems to be a little faster than the other. So they'll be doing a lot of waiting today, I think. I have to wait. Oh, so lads. <laughs> That's my Saturday. Oh, yeah. That's one heck of a hill to start with. Yeah. Especially with a like, get your bike H28. Get on the road at 30. Starting first. Yeah. Want to warm up? <laughs> no. Want to check your bike? No. Check tire pressure. And we haven't got our speaker. Yeah. Oh, that's so the worst We're running at half speed now. Yeah. Alright, so Team Canada's in last. But well, where are they? We're in the cusp again. This is where we left from. This is where we left This from. is two kilometers from the start point. And we haven't seen them yet. So something's happened for yeah. sure. Did they pass? They didn't pass Team Great Britain. No, I don't, I don't think they made it up the hill then, I'm wondering. Never a good sign. Did you We didn't make it too far. Did you make it a kilometer? No, no. it's kind of hell far. We broke our hub. Oh, that's that's serious. Serious. The yeah. was news that was a bad, Yeah, it's a bad one. As Jeffy says, the the indestructible part on our bike is broken twice now. So, <laughs> so you competed in the last quad tandem world championships and you've taken this bike on two long trips, one across Canada and one down to Mexico. And what broke was the hub, so you guys had it built up to be the strongest hub possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you've now broken it. It's, it's like the strongest hub out there. Busted it somehow twice now. How do all the breakdowns affect you mentally, like on this? I think we're good. We're just used to it. It's not ideal. We'd like to be rolling into camp at a reasonable time, but it is what it is, man. Yeah. These things break down all the time. Yours seems to break down more than the others. Ours breaks down all the time. <laughs> New Zealand is looking solid today in fourth. What a view! Good, eh? Oh, hey! Yeah. While Team USA and Team Canada women go back and forth, fighting over second. Yep. Focus. Okay. I'll leave you alone. Deep into it right now, man. You're crushing this hill. How are we feeling, Angus? How's Andrew Live doing? Amazing. Nice. But, of course, Team Great Britain is looking as strong as ever. Hey! <laughs> How are the uh, yellow jerseys doing? Yeah, we're yeah, doing We had a really fun 5K climb. Oh, yeah? It went really hard. Found loads of bikers. We're about 10k from the end. We've got one more climb to go, but we've done the hardest bit of the route. So we're just keeping some tension on the chain, playing conservative, and yeah, rolling it in. No breakdowns, and you're good. Ah, oh, Team Great Britain is just so fast, so smooth, so fun to watch on these hills. Just cruising downhill at 70 kilometers an hour. Team Great Britain win their fifth consecutive race stage, holding their overall lead position. You guys finished before now? Yeah, I yeah, know. It's a pretty quick stage, isn't it? Yeah. It's because we're in the yellow jersey. <laughs> Angus, yeah. what have you got as max speed? 79.4 kilometers per hour, which is pretty quick. 82.2. I'm so much faster than you. So much quicker. I don't know how you do it. I've got some, uh, some interesting news. Uh, Team GB just finished. Oh yeah. Yeah. Of course they did. Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah. 11.20, wow. Well, we're, we're not far behind. Right behind you, GB. Coming for you. Yeah. GB's already at camp. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you were just told? Yeah. No, I just figured they would be at camp by now. So. Oh! Sick! Nice. That's good. So the question is, who will finish second today?
The yeah. Canadian women managed to beat the American guys today and take second Welcome place in the race for the first time. Today. Each day we have an average speed of like how our average kilometers per hour and today is our highest. We stopped way less and but we kept eating the bike. But it's because we made the decision partway through at the beginning when Maria was like, so are we gonna try to come second place today? Cause we're still, we're in second right now. And then we decided like, yeah, let's, Let's like, strive for it. Yeah. Strive for it, and then we did. Yeah. <laughs> what cost? Yeah. It was honestly just fun to like ride with the Americans for a while, and then yeah. they didn't drop give it them. to us easy either, which is fun. Like yeah. they did not give it to us easy. No. They were on us always. And that means Team USA finishes third today. Let's <laughs> rough. Almost done. Terrible way for a hill, but Hard. Yeah, yeah, our butts are done. <laughs> Meanwhile, with a little help from some locals, the Canadian bike is back up and running. You gonna walk? We're gonna go to the top of the hill. With a newly rebuilt hub, they are looking forward to finally riding again. The desert out here. All right, team. Hey guys. Next stop. Nelson. here. Nelson. Okay, three, two, one, and power on. Power on. Power on. Power on. Power on. Okay. See ya. Oh. Oh, did it just break again? Yup. Totally busted. Well, there goes the day. Oh, man alive. You guys should turn around and ride it straight to Sean's bike shop. No doubt, eh? The guy is a wizard. Get off the highway at least. Yeah, yeah. Cause this we is... can't go anywhere. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no. I got all the tools for this job, but I don't know about the parts, how well conditioned they are. As it's getting later into the day, it seems like they're still not ready to give up quite yet. So, weird. so it's back to Nakusp where we started today. We're going to let bike mechanic Andrew work his magic and see if we can't get Team Canada back on the bike before the end of the day. Meanwhile, back at the finish, teams are enjoying a beautiful British Columbia summer. Living the dream, Angus. Living the dream. Hey man. Oh yeah. How's this? <laughs> Is the bike outside still? Yep. Like yep. What a place to finish the day. Looks like we're all fixed up. We're just about to uh, take our first rip. Sean's bike shop in the cusp. Best in the biz, baby. Oh, we got ourselves a lumberjack competition now. Three, two, one. Power on. Power on. Power on. See you guys. See you guys. Thanks again. Woo -hoo. All right. Pretend it's round one. What's up, guys? Five minutes. I don't. Got a car on. What do you think the others are doing right now? <laughs> They're probably swimming down there. That's what I would be doing. Team Canada is in last place by a long shot at this point with a bike they're worried might not make it to the finish. So why keep riding? Why not just quit? Well, the reason they're racing is to raise awareness and money for the Worth Hats Counseling Fund. In fact, their goal is to raise enough money to pay for 5,000 counseling sessions for those who otherwise wouldn't be able to afford it. You just have to go to a place where most don't go. <laughs> and you have to sit in it for a while. And then when you think you're coming out of it, you just go deeper. <laughs> these guys are their own support network. Oh man, these guys keep me feeling good about myself. They're very supportive. They keep me hydrated, they keep me sucked up and they're always giving me compliments when I do good things. <laughs> but not everyone has a solid support network. And these guys, Team Canada, they've lost good friends to mental health before. Captain Jeff, Hamilton, Ben, and Ryan, they've all done this before. They understand that this race is about more than finishing first. It's about finishing, period. So that's what they're gonna do. Yeah, it's kind of sad that it's coming to an end, but you know, we must move on. It's time to, time to wrap this up. One, power on, power on. I'm up. It says it on their jerseys and on their heads. Worth. Jacob Worth, 
realized his dreams of starting a hat company, and then struggled with mental health and chose to end his life. So now, Worth Hats is committed to supporting mental health through affordable and accessible counseling. This whole Quad Tandem World Championship was created to share that message in a fun and unique way. So while I have your attention and Team Canada is doing their best to finish the day, I wanna tell you that there is a link in the video description below for you to either donate or buy a hat and support others in counseling. It's for that same reason that each team here is so friendly and supportive of each other. Good job, guys. Let's go. That's that's real nice. That's real nice. Well done, man. Cheers. Well done. Thanks, boy. Thank you. What a welcome back to camp. Drew, how are you? I'm doing good. You guys, you guys hit that hard? Yeah. <laughs> we didn't get a hill climb. In seven hours after Team Great Britain, still the warmest welcome. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you guys are all showered up and clean. Nice. How long have you been oh, showing for? Cheers, buddy. Good <laughs> work. Ah. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. Whoa. How? Uh -huh. Oh, no. Yeah. Neck and neck. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that. What's that? You guys were only, because I adjusted the time with your start time. Yeah. You were only like a few minutes slower than New Zealand. Really? And you stood in front of them by a few minutes. Really? You guys came in five hours and six minutes and seven minutes after them. Ah. But you started five hours after them. Yeah. We're not last. <laughs> That's awesome. One more day. One more day. I think tomorrow's our day. I think we're going to take the day tomorrow. Today is the final stage of the Quad Tandem World Championships. It's a 70 kilometer sprint to the finish. And while certain team's positions are pretty much locked in, Team Great Britain, we're in the yellow jerseys today for the first time. Others are not. Here we go, final day. Final day. Todd, yeah, mate, come on. Straight and out. God, you well, actually gotta look good. the part. Yeah, look good. I'm look at this. We're all here for the final start. Team Great Britain in the yellow jerseys. And everyone is on a quad tandem bike, I think. Which means today will determine the final standings in the championship. As they get out onto the highway, it's the Americans taking the lead, hoping to win this shorter stage. They haven't won a stage yet, but can they hold off the yellow jerseys of Team Great Britain behind them? Or more importantly, can the women catch up and hold on to second place. It's the uphills where the women shine. But today has a lot of downhill speed and Captain Angus and the yellow jerseys are not going to let Captain Jude and the Americans get away. At the same time, the Americans are not ready to settle for second. But the women aren't giving up either. While Team USA has a lot of power on their side, the women have been one of the smoothest and most consistent teams in this race. And they've progressively gotten faster and faster throughout the week. What it all comes down to for today is each team has to avoid a breakdown. We got too excited. We got too excited. Yeah. The front four pretty much has just folded in half. And we broke a spoke. This is classic for Tandas, nothing in your free hub pools. I think the chain just broke because we pushed it too hard and it just snapped apart. Each team has grown throughout this week. They've had to build up their confidence on these 16-foot-long bicycles. Let's try that again. 
again. It's, it's gonna take a minute. To work it To get as confident as me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's just, I've just got my confidence in that bike at the moment, right? Oh man, these guys keep me feeling good about myself and they're always giving me compliments when I do good things. <laughs> Today, the final stage is where they're all leaving it out on the race course. Their speed is showing. And they are way out in the lead, fellas. It's looking good. Let's keep it going, boys. Go I love to see it. One stage, could be there. Sometimes being fast just isn't enough. Yep. Good. Right, pop, 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 pop. You're pushing him too hard. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. It's faster. Faster. <laughs> it's close. Great Britain. It's right on them. Although, I wonder if Great Britain is just toying with them a little bit. So are you guys just playing defensive? Play defensive, being nice and conservative, then keep them in sight, but that's it really. Riding defensively, stay behind, go easy on the bike, keep them in sight, strike at the end. On day one, Team Great Britain stripped their hub, forcing them to take the spare bike for the rest of the race. Until, with new parts, they were able to fix it last night. So they're back on the original bike, but not wanting to push it too hard and break it again on the final leg. Thinking back, this whole race, the championships, almost came to an end on day one. All I can do is like take care of myself and I don't feel safe racing, so I'm not gonna race. But after finding replacement tandems, spending endless hours fixing bikes, giving radio interviews, talking with people in the town square, riding together, or even having to ride solo, they've overcome all obstacles. They're pushing us, but they're holding back. But they don't know what we have. Keep going, bro. But they finally made it to the last 10 kilometers. And Great Britain is still behind Team USA. Can Captain Jude and the Americans hold off the Brits and pull off the upset on the last day? Hold on. Come on. Or is this the moment where it all falls apart? Team Great Britain, in their yellow jerseys, came to defend their title. The competition got faster and more confident throughout the championships, but Angus, Megan, Danny, and Will have enough left in the tank to finish this race with a perfect win streak. The rookie Americans, riding a quad tandem for their first time just a week ago, finishing just a minute behind, pulling off an impressive second place finish. Good job, bro. Whew, how you feel? Hungry. Hungry. <laughs> Man, I'm proud of you, dude. Yeah, just awesome. <sighs> Whew. 
me some tears. Man. <laughs> you know me. Being on the front of that bike, man, you got a lot of, a lot of responsibility, man, and you, you held in there. What do you think, man? <laughs> Bittersweet. Back in two years. Last <laughs> in a year. <laughs> Great. It feels so great. Never want to get on that seat again. <laughs> yeah. We stopped maybe three times just enough to put the chain well, we back never, on. We never stopped. We never stopped. We, we had some force stops yeah. because of the chain, but... But we just put the chain back on and kept going. Kept going. Gave them a run the last time, but they're quick. Yeah, they're fast. Congratulations, you guys. Yeah, great racing. You, yeah. you represented USA really, really well. I hope so. They're, the reigning champs are a very hard team to beat. <laughs> it, was, it was close to the stage. It was this close stage, to the yeah, this stage, stage with the most we gave downhill. a good run. Yeah, yeah. Most downhill and we had nothing left to lose. That's it, maybe next time. <laughs> yeah. Give me some time. Paparazzi. <laughs> Hi, Danny. Feeling? feeling ready to be done. But also savoring the moment. It's conflicting. We're just enjoying our last day together. And to round out the podium is Team Canada. What a good journey. Right? Crushed it. Congratulations. You, you just captained the quad tandem in the world championship. Sure all the way to the end. All team members safe. Yeah, no crashes. Main goal, main goal, you guys, we didn't crash survival once. and no crashes, and we crushed both of those. Crushed it. I wasn't totally sure about that at the beginning. Oh, well, you did it. But you know, a couple of close calls on the highway, but maybe yeah. on the gravel a little bit too. But otherwise, yeah. let's go, boys. Just behind them, having their best day of riding in this race, and the creators of the sport, Team Canada men. How did you do? How was it? It's good. We've been yeah. here for an hour. <laughs> we were separate just got here. Yeah. <laughs> really? Oh, oh man. Wow. Amazing. Absolutely oh. amazing. <laughs> so good. I'm so glad you guys made it on stage. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, of course. No other way. It's an amazing feeling to have it just come full circle back into Nelson where it started in 2010 and yeah, just kind of processing and overwhelmed a little bit right now. Feel good. It feels like, honestly, just some relief. Everyone's here, everyone's safe, we got here. It was a success. Yeah, it's not, it's just like, I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm relieved, I'm happy. Team New Zealand might be rolling in last, but they're rolling in together on the quad tandem. And Sam, who's been struggling with his confidence, he's smiling up front. Come on, lads. This is it, last block, last block. And wanting to finish strongly, Captain Sam has built up enough confidence to ride the quad tandem once again so Team New Zealand can finish together as a team. Congratulations to all of the Quad Tandem riders, and thank you to the support crews, organizers, social media team, and Andrew and Kyle for filming and editing this series with me. Plus, we can't forget a big thanks to Worth Hats for supporting mental health through their counseling fund and hosting this event. And that is it for the Quad Tandem World Championships. I'm Mike, thank you for following along with Downey Live and Worth Hats as they put on this incredible fundraiser. It's not too late to donate. It's in the link down below. I don't know where I'm going next.
but I know I want you there with me. See you next time. I want to remind you that we released the new Downey Live Worth Hats with proceeds going to the Worth Hats Counseling Fund to support people who otherwise wouldn't be able to afford it. Links are in the description down below. It'll take you to the Worth Hats site because I'm not taking any money from this. It's just a fun thing that we can do. So I've actually launched two lines of Downey Live hats previously and we're doing it again, this time with three hats. And my intention around bringing a little positivity and, and levity to the mental health space is to make fun hats. I designed all three hats with the subtle live branding on the front. And the first is the gray waterproof oil skin hat called Better Slate Than Ever. And it is a solid hat that will probably outlast you. Then we have the soft corduroy hat called Making Headlines. It's a cool and casual hat with a pop of color from that iceberg blue rope across the brim. And finally, this is your bucket hat built for sunshine called Bucket of Sun. It's bound to put a smile on your face with a bigger brim to make sure you're being sun smart. These are definitely the most fun hats. We've <laughs> <laughs> the new Downey Life line of hats is out on the Worth Hats website. Link down below. They're meant to be fun. Pick up one, pick up all three uh, and support the counseling fund. It's off to a good cause. And thank you, Michael, for your great support. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, guys.